Hello everybody and welcome back. Balcony Jumper here from BJ Drinks Beer and today I am pleasured to be joined by my special guest, Alex the Beer Master. How you doing? And today we're going to be trying out a few beers from 902 Brewing from Jersey City, New Jersey. First up, Tough as a Mother. Yeah! Tough as a Mother is a 5.5% double dry hopped pale ale. Yo! Mm, smells dank. It smells kind of like a sweet, juicy kind of uh, hoppy beer to me. Definitely getting a little bit of juiciness there. Mm. The hops are what I'm getting the most though. Yeah, very sweet though. It smells like a sweet though. Definitely. It smells like a sweet bomb to me. Definitely. You can tell it's double dry hop. Yeah, and I like double dry hop when it's very sweet. I like that sweetness. Of you know, course. I have a you, sweet you need the balance, yeah. you know? Yeah, very delicious. Looks delicious and um, nice and hazy. Um, kind of looks like to me. All right. Well, let's give it a try. Shall we? Cheers, Cheers my friend. Oh. Mm. oh, wow. You weren't lying about that sweetness. <laughs> I don't bull crap when I say something. The, the hops are definitely there, but it is super balanced mm. with that juiciness. Mm. Very, very wet on the palate. Very, very delicious, very juicy. Very uh, hoppy. Um, uh, not too, not too much of a dryness. No, you, you would definitely expect that with something that's double dry hop. Mm -hmm. But in this case, no, it's bouncing out excellent. Very great flavors. I am ready. Rated. rated. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give it a ninety-eight. I mean, you're really digging this one, huh? Yeah. 98. Let's see what you guys say. All right. I'm going to say four out of five. <laughs> and next up. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Is a 4.9% ghost style ale with lime juice, coriander, sea salt, and white pepper. Uh. White pepper. Never even heard of it. I mean, there's the Ween album, but. Oh, Majority of what I'm getting is the lime juice. There are a few adjuncts here and there that I'm picking up, but can't really identify. It's just lime and a little bit of saltiness is what I'm getting. That smells good. <laughs> that smells good. It does smell exactly what BJ has said. Yeah. Uh, is it going to be sour or limey? Uh, we'll find out. And shall we? Cheers. Wow. That's very sour. Well, somewhat. Yeah. Say more tart than sour. Yeah, I should say uh, sour would be even more stronger. You're right. It doesn't so, get you right back. It doesn't like <laughs> get your glands. Yeah, I get, I get you put them down. Um, I'm not, I like these kind of beers, but for some reason, this isn't, I don't know. Mm, okay, all right, all right. 
Me after this happens, you have to have a couple take of flavors, a couple take um, sips. Um, yeah, you get that lime, the salt. You do get a little bit because I do feel like a salt thickness on the palate. Um, uh, the mouth feel it's a little light. Um, what other flavors? What other flavors does that say that has? Coriander and white pepper are the ones we didn't touch on. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, you might have that pepper flavor, but I'm. If it's there, it's faint. Yeah, it's very faint, but you can get that lime and stuff. And I've never heard of white pepper anyway, so that must be new. Like I said, besides the Ween album, I'm not familiar with white pepper. But yeah, this is um, very delicious, in my opinion. Would I get it again? Maybe. <laughs> Decent ghost. Um, you know, very lime heavy, like Alex said. Uh, not really picking up many of the other adjuncts, but still, it's coming together nicely. Uh, I might get it again, but uh, I'm definitely enjoying it. It's just, you know, I don't really do too much of this stuff. So what do you think for a rating? A nine. Okay. I'm going to give this one a three and a half out of five. Nice. And finally. Well, we're waiting. It was all a dream. Oh. It was all a dream is a 10.1% Imperial Jersey City style IPA. Baby, baby. On the nose. I smell dankness and I smell a sweetness. Go ahead, BJ. Definitely, definitely very hoppy in the aroma. A uh, little bit of sweetness, but it doesn't really smell like it's enough to balance it out. I guess we'll see. Let's give it a try. Shall we? Cheers, Cheers my brother. So I'm definitely enjoying the dankness of it. Um, it balances out very nicely though with the juiciness, mm -hmm. but it, it, first and foremost, you get that dankness. It does not taste like a 10.1 percenter. It tastes like it's about six or seven, maybe seven and a half. Oh, holy crap, I didn't know this. <laughs> oh yeah, 10.1. 10 what do you think? Ah, uh, um... This is very sweet, um, dank sweetness is what I like. The mouthfeel is not too dry, nice and water, nice and um, moist. It's a little bit of fluffiness there too. Yes, right? creaminess, a little bit of creaminess. Um, thank you. Um, so what do you think for a rating? Mm. <laughs> a 99. Wow. Yeah, it's a 99 with this beer. And if you can get this beer right here that you can see, please do. Um, it's just delicious. BJ? I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 5. Uh, I would definitely get it again. It's really good. It's just I've been a little spoiled with all the great Imperial and Double IPAs that I've had in the last couple of years. Yeah, they're delicious. Uh, but this, don't sleep on it. This is excellent stuff. Don't sleep on it. <laughs> it is excellent stuff. So if you can get it, please do.
If you guys haven't had anything from 902 Brewing, I would recommend you definitely check them out. They make some pretty good stuff. That's all I got for this time. Alex, anything to add? This is Alex Beer Master, and we will see you all in the next live stream and the next video. Alex Beer Master signing out. Well, that's all we got for this time. Until next time, cheers. Cheers. Don't have to say this one. <laughs> <laughs>